god, this is laggy as fuck. And now the sound effects aren't working. Okay, hey guys, welcome back. This is episode four of Batman the Telltale series. This is part three. Batman's gone off to confront Harvey Dent, so let's see what happens. Don't screw this up, Harvey. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Batman? Oh, you scared the hell out of me. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? He's known him for you're years, not gonna break and he can't legs, tell that's like his, the bomb of his face. <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. Calm down, Dent. I just want to talk. Sounds good to me. I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kind of small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? Because I'm the one who's telling you to. You think I'm someone who makes idle threats? No, I suppose you're not. Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. That's a cool shot. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. Drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. Oh man, that blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. I don't care what your end goal was. Even one innocent life is too high a cost. Then you're thinking too small. I doubt the police would see it that way. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. Oh, shit. What did you say about Gordon? Now, hang on, Batman, hang on! I had to make an example of him. To get people to respect... Gordon is on Gotham's side, Harvey. He's fighting for this city, too. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I... Crime Alley. They took him to Crime Alley! <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. They like that, put this camera into a guy's chest shot. So yeah, in the last part I was saying that uh, I like Batman's voice more when he's not got the weird kind of effect on it. Because in the last episode I noticed that it's Troy Baker who's doing his voice. And I think that was the guy... Actually no, maybe it was the guy who was doing Joker in Arkham Origins. I don't even know anymore. It's, it's one of the guys from Arkham Origins. I'm not sure that he did Joker or Batman, now that I think about it. What the hell is this? Here, Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing it. 
Oh, wow, that was the lamest headbutt I've ever seen. Batman. What a mess. <sighs> Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks. And explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. Calm down, Gordon. Uh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats, and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution. Martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. Lacking again. I don't believe that. Everyone can be saved. You said it yourself. He's trying to help Gotham. He's just lost. He's a little more than lost. He's off the rails. I mean, you have to see that. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. The real threat on the streets is still the children of Arkham. They are what Dent is reacting to. And standing in the way of dealing with them, too. The precinct trusts you. The commissioner trusts you. Use that. Direct their focus. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. What's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have he access could smash in my back doors at any minute. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? What the fuck? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Oh, oh. I don't know. Because he could find the Batcave. Oh, this is a toughie. Go to Wayne Enterprises or go to Wayne Manor. Ah, oh, because if we go to Wayne Manor, then he could hack our shit and then they could find the back cave. Maybe he could set off like a, an alarm or something, I don't know. But then if we go to Wayne Enterprises, they could just like storm it and beat up Alfred and Lucius and find it anyway. This is really hard. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We are gonna go to Wayne. Enterprises. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. That was hard. I don't know. I've chosen and I don't even I don't even know which one I should pick. I don't know. Okay, yeah, well we'll see how this pans out. But yeah, if if Alfred can get back to the back I, I'm getting way too into this. <laughs> it's like okay, if <laughs> as if I'm fucking bummer, as if any of this actually matters. Um yeah, we'll go confront Penguin, hopefully stop him from being able to hack our shit. As long as Alfred can keep Harvey away from the back cave like we talked about, then we should be alright. That's a big if. 
And I still find it interesting that they changed the Children of Arkham's mask design from the opening episode from the skulls to that weird kind of square cross pattern thing. Signal coming through, Lucius. Looks like it. I'll give you what support I can. But from here in the Batcave, I can only see what you can. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can definitely do that. Just be careful, Bruce. No telling what kind of security he's had installed. I think I made the right decision, but I guess we'll see by the end of it. Sneaky, sneaky. Surely that saw us. Okay, it did. Cool, like the yellow, like around the rim of the shaft as he's going. That sounded so wrong. <laughs> well, that was lucky. Time to fire the new CEO. If that was literally the infiltration thing, then that was easy as fuck. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless, useless. You're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the bear! You're a dead bear! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again! Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. Smoke bomb. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. That's not a smart bet. Well, I've got a bit of inside information. How long is this corridor? I feel like he's been walking the same patch for like five minutes. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really I mean, that's cool. That's like his vision of the monocle. That's pretty cool. Like I like it when they try and do like different kind of alternative approaches to things that characters are really well known for. So that's pretty cool. Under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. But Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time trying to hack into Wayne technology when we... Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. That's pretty cool, I can see it. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy eared costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. Watch me. Here we go. God, this is laggy as fuck. And now the sound effects aren't working. Come on, Batman! Show me what you got. Shouldn't be able to withstand one of our punches alone too, that's bullshit. Oh, oh he actually he's pretty fucked up from it, look at him. Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. No shit. More minutes. We didn't need Lucius oh, for that. We could tell it our own. We'd fucking tell I this. will stop you before that happens. Is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it!
I blocked that. I'm sure I blocked that. Haven't you learned yet? I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, bad. <laughs> This is the start of a new legacy, and I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. Can we make him punch his own black box? Oh, this is gonna hurt if I can wrench to the head. Oh, shit. Oh, he's still got the other one, hasn't he? A break. This isn't the end, Batman! You can't stop us! It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady uh, Arkham. Oh, good luck. I wonder if this is You'll how he gets his limp if he comes time. back in the second series. Where is she? What is she uh, planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes! This city's hypocrisy will be exposed! <laughs> Tell me where to find her. Piss off! Ugh, I'm not telling you anything. Tell me! I won't tell you. Do your worst. Oh, ah! Fuck. <laughs> Choke slam him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That would totally kill him, just snap his neck. I love it. I like that blood coming out of his nose, that looks pretty badass. Which sounds counterintuitive, like an idiosyncrasy, like he's bleeding, therefore that looks badass, but I don't know, it, it worked for me at least. What the? What the dickens? Just cut me down, mate. They sit on fire? Really necessary? I mean, what will people say? I have no idea what that flash was. Just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> okay, so as a cliffhanger, that was kind of okay. It would be more kind of intriguing if we thought that Alfred and Slash or Lucius were in danger, but I'm sure they would be in the back cave and they'd be fine, so you know. Not really too worried about them. Oh, that's very close. Look at that, 50.5 50 to 49.5. And we denied his favor, which I think was a, a clever thing to do. Not clever, but it's logical. Did you go along with Joker's plan? Yes, almost 70% of other people did. How do you get past the enforcer barricade? You rammed a barricade. So that's a very, another very close one. Did you deal with Harvey as Bruce or Batman? I'm surprised so many people chose Bruce after Bruce has been so ineffectual with uh, Harvey's behaviour throughout the whole thing, but fair play to them. And did you stop Harvey or Oswald? You and 54.4% of players chose to stop Oswald. So yeah, I wonder how things would have played out if we'd gone the other way. That's pretty cool. The unfortunate thing about these is that you can't do like a rewind thing and like just do like a certain section like you could with uh, like Life is Strange or something. So yeah, that kind of sucks. 
so I probably won't even find out what the other option would have been, but there you go. I, I'm kind of glad with what we did do. So yeah, there you go, there's our options. It didn't get one of the options wrong like last time where it said that we knocked out Penguin when we didn't. But this time we did knock out Penguin, we beat the fuck out of him and stamped on his fucking head. But that's what we get, we, we got to take out our, our pent up frustration on him. Deservedly so, I, I, I must say. And uh, yeah, there you go, that is the ending of episode 4, I think it was Guardian of Gotham it was called, of Batman the Telltale series. So join me next time for episode 5, which will be the ending of the first series. Obviously, I think Harvey now, well Harvey and the Lady Arkham are the, the main people we've got to contend with now that Penguin's out of commission. I think this one was good, maybe not my favourite, but it was enjoyable, it kind of ramped up a bit. I loved the... Uh, the, the the section at the Vale's house that bit was pretty cool with the whole eye thing and i did enjoy that ending fight scene as well so yeah i enjoyed it hope you guys did too so with all that being said all that's left to say is thanks for watching stay awesome stay safe and join me next time for the finale of batman the telltale series series one see you then guys <laughs>